Hi there, thanks for being with us on a special edition of Together, I'm Karen Lee. We decided to move out of the studio and into our community. We're at Legend High School in Parker, where we're going to highlight some of the great things taking place inside our school. We see students, parents, and teachers all working together to better the communities in which they live. We are excited to share these stories with you. And we start right here at Legend High School in the gym where the Parker Police Department came in to take part in a game. But it's not your typical game. It's unlike any other. As Karen Warford shares with us, it is about so much more than bragging rights. On this night, the Parker Police Department is focused on one thing. They want to win. We might win. This is get feed, feeding a little fuel to the fire. But they're facing a tough opponent. This charity game allows special needs students to hit the court. So who won this game? We'll bring you the results next on Together. When tragedy strikes, students and staff turn to each other for support. At Rocky Mountain High School in Fort Collins, four students battled cancer this past year. It's hard to imagine what everyone went through. But as Dylan Thomas shows us, the entire community came together to let these students know that they are not fighting this alone. At Rocky Mountain High School, the day starts with the Pledge of Allegiance, but then it's all about giving back. These students are raising money to support the place that's been helping their friends. Cancer's affected our senior class for one, but just our school in general so deeply this year. You'll hear from one student who says her peers helped her fight the disease. That's coming up on Together. Alternative schools do things a little differently to make sure that kids succeed. Kelly Worthman takes us inside a classroom and shows us something that you're probably not used to. At this school, kids get to go to class and get a haircut. You never really hear about a school having a barbershop. It's a time to relax and a time to connect. I feel like this school cares about me more than what the bigger high school did. How community members are volunteering their time to make this barbershop a possibility. That's later on Together. It's a painful and difficult topic, but more and more schools are talking about teen suicide and the hope of saving lives. That's the goal of a nonprofit called Robbie's Hope. Dominic Garcia has more. Hi, do you guys have a moment to talk about teen mental health? These teens will probably never know just how many people they've helped. It just continues to fill us up and give us that drive to keep going. And that means a lot coming from Kari Eckert. Her son Robbie took his own life just a few months ago. Almost immediately, she and her husband started Robbie's Hope. It was about creating awareness and empowering teens to be able to open up the dialogue. They know that this is an issue and they can bring it to everybody else. And that's where students across the metro area came in. As Robbie's story spread, teens like Elizabeth Becker jumped in to help. I attended this service and after that I just knew that this was something that I had to be a part of. They kicked off what they called a hopeful drive. The mission was to raise awareness about mental health, just start a conversation. We would just walk up to people or have people walk by us and just say, hey, do you have a minute to talk about Robbie's Hope? They not only raised awareness, but money, a lot of it, $24,000, money that will go towards making more hope groups for students. And it's just about creating teen-led um, awareness and teen-led programming, and Hope Group is the prime example of that, giving kids a safe space to talk about how they feel. Something that can save lives. It's okay to not be okay. Hold on, pain ends. I'm Dominic Garcia, covering Colorado First. When cancer hits close to home, it's tough on everyone. At Rocky Mountain High School in Fort Collins, four seniors came down with cancer this past year. But instead of giving up and being overcome by grief, this community came together. And Dylan Thomas was there. It's been nine months since Rocky Mountain High lost Kate Pruitt to cancer. Who passed away um, our first day of senior year. And so that was really, really difficult. From there, we had more kids get diagnosed. All of that has put a major dent into our senior year. Since Pruitt's passing, three other seniors have battled cancer. Carter Edgerly, Sherry Hone, and Liv Fondy. Cancer's affected our senior class for one, but just our school in general so deeply this year. So every morning, 
As soon as the pledge ends, giving is the first thing these students do. Kids will give up their lunch money to put money in the buckets. The proceeds going to a place that's brought life back to Rocky. Children's hospitals since we've all been treated there. You can really see how it um, brings everyone together here at Rocky. For Fondi, she's in remission. It's just been awesome to see everyone um, come together and care about this. But two students continue their battle with cancer, a battle which may remove them from the classroom, but not from the hearts and minds of their classmates. It does tear people apart, but it also brings people together. The student body has also teamed up with local restaurants who will donate some of their proceeds toward the cause. For more information on how you can help, visit CBSDenver.com. In Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Now back here to Legend High School, where back in February, two teams squared off right here in this gym. It was the Parker Police Department versus the Legend Unified Basketball Team. And Karen Morfitt was here to see all the action. Let's go, you and we're gonna beat those people. Woo it's a battle on the hardwood senior Taylor Mathewson looks forward to every year. It's really, really fun, mainly because I'm really tall and I'm good at defense, <laughs> and uh, I'm also uh, good at making hoops too. Her team, Legend Unified, made up of both special needs students and partners, takes center court. They've been talking trash all week, right? Against the men and women of the Parker Police Department. We might win. This is get fe feeding a little fuel to the fire. Officer Dan Britton isn't just an opponent, he's their school resource officer. A few years ago, he and other teachers at Legend teamed up to get the ball rolling on an annual charity game. Last year was amazing. Each year we're trying to build it bigger and bigger. Going in, Britton and his teammates had a simple but solid game plan. Not to get hurt. <laughs> so we're, we're all kind of old and getting up there. So we're going to try to rotate out about every two minutes so we stay uh, somewhat fresh. Hey, Sean, give Priscilla a shot. In the end, it wasn't enough to get the win. Parker PD would fall to legend 70 to 49. And while one team may have been wearing the unified name across their chest, the game brought an entire community together. Even though we're different, we're still like normal people and uh, we're really good at basketball and we really love the community. Micah Compton actually took part in that basketball game that we were just sharing that story with you. And uh, Micah, how did it feel to be out here on the court playing against the Parker Police Department? It was fun. I, I enjoyed all the teammates, the unified partners, and our plus our head coach, Jamie, there supporting our team. I want to thank my parents for coming to support mm -hmm. us to win over the Parker Police game. How did it feel to beat them out here? It was, it was, <laughs> it was happy. It was enjoyable. What position do you like to play in basketball? Offense. Offense. And defense. Yeah. So you like it all? I like it all. You run the whole entire court here behind me. So I noticed when we were um, we were walking in here here at your school, everybody was shouting, Micah, hey, how are yeah. you? And, and so you're pretty well known here at your school, yeah. right? This what, is my first year. What do you like about Legend High School? It's fun. Hanging out with all my friends at lunch. How did it make you feel to look up there in the stands and to see so many different people here cheering you guys on? Um, nervous. Nervous. Did it make you feel pretty proud yeah. though? Yeah. Did it feel good inside? Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Miss Karen. Yeah, we appreciate you and we look forward to, to seeing you in the game next year because you said you're going to take part, right? Take part, yep. Yeah. All right. Yes, you. Great. Micah, have a great rest of your school you year too. and thanks for being with us. We've learned there's a lot more amazing things happening here at Legend High School. Next, we're going to take you to a classroom that's using some incredible technology to get students excited about science. I think it really helps students see what they like to do and for a job opportunity or something and just widens your variety of options. Together with Karen Lee, sponsored by Canvas Credit Union. We're Canvas and we've got you covered, Colorado. Go live. Walk inside any classroom, pretty much in any school, and you'll find kids inside that are being challenged to think big. 
like inside this classroom here. We're at an engineering class at Legend High School, and these kids are really developing some neat technology. We are here with Kevin Stallman, a junior, in the Intro to Engineering class here, and there's a lot going on in this classroom, and a lot with robots. You did some coding for this. What does that mean? That we did a coding on our computer, and we typed up the code, and we hooked it into the motor and transferred the file, and what it basically does is when the left sensor sensors the black line, the right motor will go straight, and you can do the same thing for the other side, and it'll go this way. So when I went to high school, there was nothing like this. We had a textbook and maybe some microscopes. What do you guys think about getting to use all this amazing technology? I think it really helps students see what they like to do and for a job opportunity or something, and just widens your variety of options. What else are you learning about in this class? We know there's a lot of robots and a lot of cool things, but what other kind of real life things are you getting before you head off to college? Um, well, right now we're working on an architecture program. So we're building houses and seeing how to make objects. We 3D printed something. So tell us a little bit about the, your 3D printing. How do you get that to all come together? Is it a computer program? What are we doing? It's a computer program called SolidWorks and you design it and build it and then you put your design on it through like extruding and everything and then after that you just send it to the program and it'll go to the printer. Is this something that you maybe are going to go to college for and something in engineering? I would definitely consider it. I'm going for pre-med though. So. Okay, well still something in the STEM world. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay, great. Well thank you so much Kevin. Still to come on together. Is the secret to good grades a good haircut? How one school is using an on-campus barber shop to bring students together while building their confidence. It's good to bond with the teacher like that, you know what I mean? And share a little moment. Coming up on this week's Together for Colorado Calendar, Wednesday celebrates some of the newest U.S. citizens the Boulder Public Library is hosting a naturalization ceremony. Thursday, it's a fundraiser to support families in the Globeville and Elyria Swansea neighborhoods. Lotteria will be a night of games, food, and fun in Denver's Zeppelin Station. Saturday, enjoy a one-of-a-kind music festival at the Denver Day of Rock. The free event features five stages of live music right along the 16th Street Mall. For more information on these events, just visit the Together for Colorado section of CBSDenver.com. At one school in Denver, there's a classroom turned barber shop. As Kelly Worthman shows us, students and adults are connecting while clipping. You do this weekend, man. It's the middle of the school day. And Tony Herrera is getting a free haircut. It means a lot, honestly. No, he's not cutting class. In fact, he's still at school. You never really hear about a school having a barber shop. At the Contemporary Learning Academy, John John the Barber is volunteering his time and skills to help students like Tony and his classmates. I'm always able to give him a little therapy, help him feel better. The Denver Alternative High School is designed for students who struggle with traditional classrooms and often find themselves getting into trouble. Like I wasn't doing too well, like I wasn't going to class. Students come from so many different schools and at times it's often hard for them to trust adults. That's how this barber shop began. It's, one. One. it's a place for teachers and students to come together, play games and of course get a fresh look. It's good to bond with the teacher like that, you know what I mean? and share a little moment. Yeah, that's defense though. Oh, Those little moments are having a big impact. It helps you, you know, confidence for sure, you know. Since the barber shop opened, the dean says student grades have dramatically improved. We're here to help you, um, and we want to see you be successful. Barber. Now, for many of these students who used to cut class, school is a place they want to be. I feel like this school cares about me more than what the bigger high school did. The Contemporary Learning Academy is always looking for volunteer barbers. If you'd like to help out, just visit CBSDenver.com. In Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Next on Together, a school gym transforms into a pro wrestling arena, and it was all to make one kid's wish come true. Being the wish warrior is being someone strong who's not sick, who gets to fight, who gets to battle, and it's being a kid.
Catch the latest episodes of Together, as well as your favorite Together for Colorado stories, anytime at cbsdenver.com. School kids are always ready to support a great cause. At Mountain Vista High School and Highlands Ranch, the cause this year was the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Joel Hillen takes us there and introduces us to a very special boy named Chad. Six-year-old Chad loves wrestling. We record it every uh, Monday and Tuesday night. He won't watch it without me. Chad's Make-A-Wish was to be a wish warrior. Being the wish warrior, is being someone strong who's not sick, who gets to fight, who gets to battle, and it's being a kid. Mountain Vista High School student body president Maya Winslow has been helping put together the special wish event. We want Chad! A wrestling match for Chad. I looked at him and I said, are you ready to go? Are you ready to go battle? And immediately his face lit up, he threw his fist in the air and he said, I'm ready for my match. I'm gonna go win. Chad, who has struggled with the disease that affects his muscles and is recovering from cancer, gets the pin and the championship belt. That one moment when everyone comes together for one common goal and one common cause, it's a really cool feeling. And the gym is vibrating and oh my gosh, you can just feel the energy. It's so cool. For Chad and for his family, this was everything. Thank you for everything. I'm showing him the love he deserves. Thank you. And I want you. I'm Joel Hillen, covering Colorado First. Thank you for being with us in this special edition of Together with Karen Lee. There are so many great things taking place inside of our schools, it's hard to highlight them all. But I hope that you've enjoyed what you've seen here today. If you know of anything going on in your community, of people coming together for one another, you can email me directly at kaylee at cbs.com. You can also post it to social media using hashtag for Colorado. And before I leave you today, I want you to enjoy the sights and sounds of the Legends High School Jazz Band. One, two, a one, two, three. <laughs> Transition! 